Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us on this special edition of For the Good of Masonry, live here at the funeral home in the office with my special guest, James Pugsley, Master of Lebanon Lodge, number 391, here in Hope Mills. Hello, James. How are you doing today? Absolutely uh, perfect. Uh, thank you for inviting me in. Uh, really uh, enjoyed your uh, your Facebook uh, live uh, events, and uh, I uh, get in, glad you uh, invited me in. Well, we're glad to have you here today. Uh, I tell you, we got a lot of things going on across the state this weekend, and uh, we've got a few events leading up to this weekend that I think you want to know about, and that's why I've asked this wonderful brother to come and join me in the office today. So, first of all, last night you were at an event in Hillsborough Lodge at Eagle Number 19. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Historical Hillsborough. Um, historical, yes. Yes, it's an uh, absolutely uh, beautiful building. Um, Eagle Lodge number 19, they had a uh, their stated meeting uh, last night, and uh, they had a special guest in there. Uh, Wolford brother Ben Wallace gave a uh, outstanding presentation on uh, living the closing charge. If you have not uh, seen that, um, it is definitely um, something you got to see. Um, the uh, the lodge is looking beautiful. They are uh, pre preparing for the uh, installation this weekend, mm -hmm. the Grand Lodge. Um, this is uh, Warshall Brother, Wright Warshall Brother, the uh, Grandmaster Elect, Speed Holman's Lodge, and uh, they have done a lot of work in this uh, historical building. Uh, goes back to the 18th century, and uh, definitely worth the trip to go up and see this lodge. Uh, one of our uh, our uh, jewels in uh, North Carolina masonry. Absolutely, and I would was unable to make it out to Eagle Lodge number 19 for that that uh, wonderful event put on by Worshipful Brother Ben Wallace. I was actually at Creasy Proctor Lodge number 679 for an entered apprentice degree. Had a great time, wonderful fellowship out there. But while we're talking about Eagle Lodge number 19, right, Worshipful Brother Speed Holman, who is the Grand Master Elect, this weekend will be the Grand Lodge installation. And that's going to be at the John Sprunt Hill Ballroom at the Carolina Inn. Uh, that's in Chapel Hill, and this will be the Grand Lodge officer's installation. Uh, if anyone was there last year uh, for Most Worshipful Brother Gene Cobb's installation, it was a wonderful place, a wonderful event, and uh, you can't beat that UNC spirit. I mean, to tell you, I, I kind of a little partial on that one, but uh, it's, it's going to be a great event, and if you're not in one of the other events that we're talking about, we'll hope you'll join us there. A couple more events to run down on Saturday. Uh, we've got the Grand Lodge installation. That'll be at 10 a.m. at the Carolina Inn, and that's in Chapel Hill. The second big one is we have got the Rainbow Girl Santa Claus Breakfast, and I am ill-prepared. I don't have my hold up. Uh, but the Santa Claus Breakfast, which is on for the good of masonry, and I've shared it in about every Masonic group in the state of North Carolina, uh, will be this Saturday morning from 9 until 11 a.m. Uh, we'll hope you'll come out and join us. It's $8 per child per pitcher or $20 for the whole family. All proceeds are going to benefit Rainbow Assembly number 22, located out of here in Fayetteville, which is a 17th Masonic District uh, Rainbow Girls uh, unit. And uh, we're all so happy to support our Rainbow Girls. And we we hope to see you there if you're not at the Grand Lodge installation, but I can tell you, I'm going to be cooking some pancakes and flipping them fast and high, so I hope you'll come out and enjoy some good food. I wish I could be at the Grand Lodge installation, but you got to help the kids where you can. So Always a good time at Phoenix Lodge. Absolutely. Thank you for that. Uh, this weekend, Hope Mill Shrine Club, the Shrinettes are going to have their Christmas dance. They will have the band Wishful Thinking. This is going to be a brown bag event, and it's going to be $15 per person. So we we'll hope you'll come out to the Hope Mill Shrine Club uh, and enjoy this wonderful event. Uh, they have uh, lots of dances, and, and the Shrinettes do raise money for different causes, but it, it's all part of Shrindom, and we hope you'll come out and support this great event. I will be putting out more information on that tomorrow and Friday. Now, Worshipful Brother James Pugsley, I asked you to be here with us today because tomorrow evening – there is a very special speakers event going on at Lebanon Lodge number 391. Tell us a little bit about that. Absolutely. We have uh, Worship Brother Don Barrier. Um, he is from uh, Wilkerson College Lodge, and uh, he will be coming in and giving a presentation on the power of ritual. Um, we'll have this flyer up on uh, Really Good Masonry, but uh, we uh, have set aside our fifth Thursdays of uh, every month this uh, this year um, to do Masonic education at Lebanon, and so uh, 
Warfare Brother uh, Don is our uh, fourth presentation this year and um, of a statewide speaker. He has given a, uh, I, I've been to two of his presentations on, on the Power of Ritual and uh, absolutely a, uh, something that is a must-see um, to come out and see. And it really, uh, it shows how our ritual can be, um, can bring what masonry is about to life if it's done right and so uh, i encourage everybody uh, all masons um, this will be a tile lodge so uh, all master masons are invited and uh, if you can come out it will be on uh, tomorrow night at 6 30 we will have refreshments 7 30 we will open lodge and have uh, worship brother don to uh, present. Now you said this is your fourth speaker. This is speakers from the Speakers Bureau, which is located on the Grand Lodge website, correct? Absolutely. Um, any lodge that would like to have a statewide speaker um, come in, they can go on the Grand Lodge website and uh, request. Um, there's a whole list of topics that they discuss. Um, and uh, as long as uh, they're within, they, they have mileage, some of them will come if it's within 50 right. miles, so other, ones ones will go, operate in. other ones uh, will, will come from anywhere, um, give them enough notice, and uh, they'll come in and, and definitely help your Masonic education for either your stateds or, um, as we've, we've done this year, to uh, actually set up a, 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 a merger communication for Masonic education. And that's part of trying to be a lodge of excellence within the Lion and Pillar program. Is that correct? Absolutely. It is one of the... Uh, the um, pillars and uh, the Lion and Pillar uh, Lodge of Excellence um, started last year by uh, Most Worshipful Brother uh, Gene Cobb, and um, it uh, it's we you have education is one of them, and uh, bringing in as we're all required by the code to have Masonic education at each one of our stated meetings. Um, we uh, also can enhance that by having uh, these statewide speakers come in and give these presentations that they, they've worked on and uh, have fine-tuned, and it definitely uh, enhances your your meetings. Absolutely, and that's a wonderful thing. Not a lot of Grand Lodges offer that. I mean, we have guys that have specifically put time and effort into presenting different lectures that are going to benefit your lodge and you directly. I mean, sometimes you're sitting on the sidelines for some of these speakers' events, and it's amazing. You think, well, I'm going to go find ideas that I'll bring back to my lodge. Sometimes the stuff hits you a little hard and heavy right in your own heart. So uh, make sure you get out to this event. Again, this is going to be at Lebanon Lodge number 391. This will be Brother Don Barrier, and it will be this Thursday. That's tomorrow, the 30th of November. Refreshments will be served at 6.30 p.m., and the presentation will start at 7.30 p.m. All Master Masons, this will be a tiled event. So we'll hope you'll come out and join us uh, over at Lebanon Lodge. And... Uh, Again, I want to thank all of you for tuning in, and uh, I hope you'll give us a like and a share. And I want to thank you, Worshipful Brother Jim Spugley, for being here with us today. And uh, like I said, just to recap our events, we've got the Lebanon Lodge event tomorrow night, refreshment at 6.30. The meeting will start at 7.30. This Saturday, we have the Grand Lodge installation at 10 a.m., and that will be at the John's Front Hill Ballroom at the Carolina Inn uh, in Chapel Hill there. Or if you're not in Chapel Hill and you want to come on down to Fayetteville and see Santa Claus because he's going to be in the house, come on down to Phoenix Lodge number 8 located at 221 Mason Street, and that will be between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. Come on down, have some wonderful pancakes, and, uh, and, and see Santa Claus. I know I'm going to get a picture of him. Uh, definitely going to get a picture with him. So. I have my grandson out there. Awesome. Yeah. Good. I look forward to seeing Brother James out there, and I hope I'll see you out there as well. And then also the Hope Mill Shrinettes uh, will be having their Christmas dance with the band Wishful Thinking, and that will be this Saturday from 7 p.m. until 11 p.m., and that will be at the Hope Mill Shrine Club located on Camden Road here in Hope Mills. It will be a brown bag event, and tickets are $15 a piece. So we hope you'll see you at one of those events, and we hope that this gets out there, and maybe you hadn't heard about this event, and that's what's going to spur you to get out there. So until the next time, I'm for the Go to Masonry. God bless you. God bless America. And until the next time, stay safe.